Hi everyone, my name is Lucas Charles. I am a staff backend engineer on the static analysis team at GitLab. And uh, today we're doing a quick demo of the new auto resolve feature for static analysis findings in GitLab 1510. Um, let's go ahead and uh, click off, kick off a quick demo then. Now, if we look at the release notes that came out today for our 1510 release, you can see this um, item for automatically resolving SAS findings when rules are disabled. Now, um, the basic idea behind this feature is that sometimes there are rules that are not applicable to a specific organization or project, um, or we have simply refined these rules over time. Those are the two main cases here. So in the case of this initial one, that is um, disabling for a specific rule type across a project or group, and in the latter, uh, many times throughout uh, our release cycle, the stack analysis team will work on refining rules to uh, reduce false positives, improve rule accuracy, and um, sometimes remove them entirely. Now, the way this feature works is by essentially um, ingesting the specific uh, uh, rule types that um, are under scan and uh, auto-resolving any ones that are no longer detected that uh, we are not currently scanning for. But that's probably easiest to show. So uh, let's jump, go ahead and jump over here to an example project. Now, in the case of this project, it's a pretty straightforward project code-wise. We have um, three occurrences of vulnerabilities here. One is uh, detect eval with expression and two occurrences of this detect object injection. If we look at the CI configuration, You can see that it's enabled to run SAST. And um, we also have our uh, static analysis custom rule set enabled here, which we'll get back to in a second. If you actually look at the custom rule set configuration, there's two things that are going on in here. Um, one, we are overriding SEMGREP's default rules with a uh, local configuration, which really only has those two rules enabled for simplicity. and we are also overriding the severity of uh, this specific rule of detect object injection. Now, this is a fairly common use case where um, a user may not necessarily want to remove a rule entirely, but they might just want to lower the severity so um, it doesn't seem, it's, it's simply not as severe in, in um, their opinion for uh, whether it's applicable to a code base or their specific project. Now, this particular rule of detect object injection tends to be uh, fairly high in terms of uh, noise and false positives. So this is actually one of the ones that we have auto removed. Um, it is a good example though. So in this case, we'll take a look. Now, if we look at the latest pipeline, uh, you can see that it has those three vulnerabilities that I pointed out earlier. Um, in this case, it is a detect eval with expression and two occurrences of detect object injection here and here. Now the default behavior is static in need triage because I haven't um, manually changed it to a confirmed or dismissal. And uh, you can also see from the activity badges that it is in the still detected state. Um, you would be able to see this detection badge here, here, or here if uh, they were no longer present on the default branch. Uh, prior to this 1510 change, there's really two occurrences of seeing that no longer present badge. One was either the finding was removed or is no longer present. And the other is that the rule type is no longer under scan. So this new feature aimed at auto resolution uh, aims to address the latter, which is when a rule is removed entirely. Now as a quick demo, we can go over here and let's go ahead and remove that secondary occurrence here. We'll just comment it out. Oh, we'll remove entirely. And then we'll take 30 seconds to let this pipeline run. As soon as this job finishes, what we're expecting to happen is one of those two um, detect object injection findings will have that special badge on it. That means it's no longer detected, which is to be expected. Back to the dashboard. We now see this badge here because uh, this finding was deleted. It still requires a manual triage step for us to set that to resolve and recognize that it's mitigated. Uh, but for now, we're just going to leave it in the default state. So all of our findings are still untriaged. 
Now, if we go back to our custom rule set configuration here, what we're actually going to do instead is we're going to want to remove this rule entirely instead of just uh, disabling it. So the process for that is uh, we can essentially ignore this override if it's no longer present because um, we are actually going to remove it from the YAML configuration itself. So let's uh, go over to our rules here. Edit the file. And we'll go ahead and remove this entirely. Now, what's going to happen when this pipeline finishes running is that the two findings here that were previously low uh, should now both be no longer detected because we removed this rule type entirely. Um, prior to the 1510 change, what would actually happen is this badge would be applied to both of these here because we did not previously distinguish between uh, findings that are no longer present versus findings that are no longer being scanned. But with this new 1510 release, we will actually be auto resolving these and we will be adding a dismissal comment explaining the rationale. Let's go ahead and check in our pipeline. Okay, so it looks like our pipeline finished. Now the process for auto resolution uh, takes a second as that needs to finish uh, for the resolution comments to apply. So we'll just go ahead and give this a minute before we visit our vulnerability dashboard. Okay, now uh, before I go ahead and refresh this page, uh, I just want to make a note here that immediately after the pipeline ran, you can see that these were marked as uh, remediated, as they are no longer being detected, and then the secondary process kicked off to actually resolve them. Go ahead and refresh now, and we now see that only the tech devo with expression is still in the need triage state. If we set to all statuses, we can see that these are both marked as resolved. And by clicking through, we see a nice message from GitLab Security Bot that this was automatically resolved because the vulnerability type was disabled. And that is the new 1510 feature for automatically resolving SAS findings. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us and happy to um, address any uh, questions or concerns that come up. Thank you.